Barry, what do you call this pad right here? This is our Bright Bonnet pad. Well, I want to introduce you to everybody. Okay. This is Barry Berhoff, and Barry is the president of Surehold Industries. He's been on the program for about 12 years, and you developed a tool that really helps boat owners like me not burn the finishes on their boat when they're waxing, when they're using rubbing compounds. What do you call it? This is Sherhold's dual action polisher, and this allows the everyday boater to wax and polish just like a professional. Okay, now how do all of the pads that you offer, how do they hold to the machine? Everything easily snaps on and off using Velcro. Okay, now this pad right here, this is a foam pad, and this is kind of what you would use either for a polish or for a wax, okay? But what you were showing me, that red pad, that's actually helping boat owners wax their boat very speedily. Correct. Okay, uh, take us through the process. How does that work? Real simple. You start with your Pro Polish pad, you put your wax on here, you buff about a two square foot area, you get that nice haze. Instead of going and getting that beach towel and buffing out that haze, you snap this over the Pro Polish pad. This vapor barrier in here keeps the wet pad from going through here, and you use this to buff out that haze. As soon as you've done that, snap it off, go wax your next area, back on, off, on, so off. So you're really speeding up the yeah. process. Okay, let's talk about the waterway that we're in. This is the South Fork of the St. Lucie River, and if you look at the shoreline, there's a lot of dead trees that have fallen into the water, leaves get in there, and the reason it's brown is that's tannic acid. That's the breaking down of all this vegetation. Well, that can get on our gel coat, and we can get a brown stain line right at that water line. It's called a mustache, okay? How do we remove that from the boat? Well, with any cleaning project, I always recommend let's start simple and gentle and work our way up the aggressive scale. So the easiest brush, soap, water, attack that water line. If that's not doing it, you work your way up the scale. If you've made it to a point where nothing's doing it when it's in the water, we got to get a little more aggressive, get the boat out of the water, on the lift, on a trailer. And we have some really nice aggressive new pads for the dual action polisher, starting with our Scotch-Brite style Velcro on pad, and this can do the water line. You just hit it with a little uh, serious marine cleaner chemical and work away. Okay, just like with the Scotch Brite, is the white the softest, Correct. most gentle pad that you have? Correct. Okay, do you have anything a little bit more aggressive? Maybe you have some shell growth that you're trying to remove, calcium deposits Definitely. from the hull bottom. Definitely. We have our blue medium and our brown aggressive, and they are perfect for below that water line and getting off that calcification. Okay, now sometimes you might get some scratches in your gel coat when you're using something that aggressive. And I have used this product many times before on the program. You make it, it's called Buff Magic. And this is a variable grit rubbing compound. Now what type of a pad would you use with a rubbing compound? With all rubbing compounds, I always recommend the dual action polisher with a wool-based cutting pad. And this is one we've been using earlier today. Okay, this is the problem that I wanted to talk about. Do you see how the rubbing compound is actually matted down the wool cutting pad and it's actually turned hard. We can't use this on the boat. We're gonna, we're gonna hurt something. Correct. Okay, how do we fluff that back up? Okay, as you use the pad and it gets all the caked in compound and gel coat, we make a brush for fluffing it. This is our pad fluffing brush. You abrade the pad. You wanna make sure the machine's off, not turning. You abrade it by hand and that's gonna cake out everything and fluff it up. Make it so you can use the pad a couple more times before you need to wash it. Let's talk about the videos that you're producing for okay. people. And you're offering them, um, you know, for guys to learn how to clean their boat on YouTube. What's Correct. that all about? Well, what that is, is we get questions all the time from people. How do I do my water line? How do I clean my engines? How do I clean my graphics? How do I clean my touch screens? And so what we did is we took all those questions. We made five minute videos, one question, one answer right there on our website using YouTube as our engine. Visit us at www.surehold.com and you can see all of that and our products.